We've got thousands of bees swarming us. I can barely see in front of me. This is insanity. They are all out and they are they are vicious. I feel like if I didn't have a suit on right now, I would be dead. Doing a little trial run for tomorrow's video just to see how it'll go. I came out here to mow. It's not, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it. Do I have to do it, guys? That yellow hive, you guys. This yellow hive. This yellow hive will not leave me alone. They will not leave me alone. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh, but we need the honey. We need the honey. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I got my flow hive suit on and I moved my old hat, the big bucket hat from the old suit and I hate it, but it at least keeps the, the bees off my nose, the, the flatter fit. Anyways, hopefully it won't get stung in the face. Here's the plan of attack. So we're gonna go right down the line. We've got our red hive right here and then our orange hive, which I don't see anything coming out of. I think those bees must have died sometime in the last few weeks. Then we've got our yellow hive. I'm not looking forward to that. They are gonna be a pain. I might save them till the end. Our green hive and then our white hive, which was our wild swarm hive last year. So we've got five hives over here, and then we've got the flow hive, which is not ready to harvest any yet. Hopefully we can get some frames of honey in here. I'm excited for that, but I'm really nervous today for the harassment we're gonna get from these bees. It doesn't open, it's stuck. Okay, so they're in about three-fourths of this. Right now, I want to see if there's anything that I can take for some honey. Although I don't want to take too much from these guys because these guys have always been pretty slow producers. So fully capped at the top and then a lot of brood in the bottom part. Yeah, a lot of brood, that's good. This is just gorgeous. The honey on top, the brood on the bottom. Almost all fully capped, but this is a lot of brood, so we'll put it back. So down in the cells, there's a little egg, there's a little larva for all the babies. Alright, so this is the first frame that is all honey. I see no larva on it. Now it's only a quarter capped, and about half of it's filled with honey. So this would be a great frame to take here in another month or so. They put honey on all the other frames, but they only put about a quarter of it. This one looks like it's going to be all honey, but it's not ready yet. So we've got bees bugging us from the red hive. I need to make sure I get that to calm down before I start messing with the yellow hive because that'll just make it too insane here. This orange hive, I see some bees coming in and out, so I'm excited to check in here to see if there are any bees actually alive in here. So the orange hive, we just inspected that one. There's some bees in there. I don't know if they're just ravaging what's left or if there actually are a few bees left. No queen. Looks like that hive might have got hit by some pests this year. All right, we're getting ready to open up the green hive. This one's been doing really well this year. I've seen a lot of bees in and out of here. Let's see if we have any honey in the top half. I build it all out. That's interesting. All right, in here there are a lot of bees, a lot of honey. And lots of brood. And lots of brood. We gotta see if there's anything we can take or if it's just, if it's all brood. Go ahead and smoke up here, go ahead and smoke. Is that honey or brood? I see honey, capped honey at the yeah. top. Not too much. Whoa. Real good honey there. This is all honey, it's just not capped yet. It's about half capped. It's looking really good. Okay, let's look at this last one. This frame is so close to being done, but the other side, not much to it. I don't know if it's worth taking it just for that one. I'm not sure. This is the hive, the wild swarm hive that we got last year. Uh, we pulled it out of a tree branch from a neighbor's, and it's been pretty amazing, but it was also really aggressive last year. We ended up switching the queen out, moving really fast. and ever since, it's been much calmer. 
but it's still gonna be pretty aggressive because it is a very full hive. But you'll be able to see a comparison a little bit from this one to the yellow hive, how different, how angry that yellow hive is. We're gonna go frame by frame here and see how the hive's doing, see if we can find the queen, see if we can find some honey that we can harvest. You killed some honey, it looks Here's our queen. queen. Here's our queen. Right in the middle. Oh. We found our queen, the first queen we've seen today. Right here in the middle. We've got our our one blue queen from last year that we replaced from Lass and Queen Bees. And she's doing amazing in here. I need to make sure I get this right back in. That's a brood. A little bit of honey. Alright, should start getting into some honey here soon. Oh, that's a lot of honey. That one's looking good. There we go. Really good frame of capped honey there. Placing the capped honey with this. Oh, oh gosh, it's pouring out. So these three frames are like all stuck together. They're all gonna rip. Okay. Oh, so much honey. Yeah, I need to take these. I need to take these. Oh, these are gorgeous. We've got three. We've got three in here that are almost all capped. These two are all together. So I'm going to take these back, replace. I can't see under here. So I'm going to take these back and definitely harvest these three frames. All right, now it's time for the big one, the yellow hive, the one that is the most dangerous one, the one that attacks us when we come out when we're not suited up. So this one's gonna get a little crazy. Right here you see a little bit just forming up around the doors, no big deal. But look behind what we've got going on. Now we're gonna go in here, I'm not looking forward to it, but we'll get in and out, get the honey we need, and then hopefully they won't get too upset, and we'll find out. Be mad. Not yet, I'm still on the, on the brood. So this is insanity. We've got thousands of bees swarming us. I can barely see in front of me, which is how, and I can feel them just tapping me. I've got them stingers in the glove. I feel like if I didn't have a suit on right now, I would be dead. It's that intense. I, it's a little nerve wracking just to hear the buzzing and feel like they might be in the suit, even though I don't think they are yet. But I'm about halfway through the frames. Still dealing with brood. Haven't seen a queen yet, but she's obviously doing her job. What'd I say? All right. Just sting through the glove. Honey. Oh, we got all honey here. We got all honey. Okay. You all right? Can you hear me over all the buzzing? Oh my goodness, the bees are going wild. Close it up. I've never been so covered in bees. They're they're getting through the glove a little bit with some of their stings, but 
I don't know if they're gonna leave me alone if we drive across the property. I hope so. But they are all out and they are they are vicious. I've got to close up this hive, which for this one it's just putting the top down. And we can get out of here. I've got so many bees on me right now, I'm gonna have to drive around for a little while. And then we're gonna have to make sure they're off our three frames that we took from the hive. We put a couple back in there. Once we get the bees away from us, we'll we'll start to harvest the honey, but it's gonna take probably 30 minutes to an hour of driving around just to get all these bees off. Eli's in the car. Oh man. Look at this. Look at the camera. They're all over the camera. Ow. Camera. Let's get out of here. Oh, we gotta get the drone in. We've got all of our honey here. Look at all of this beautiful stuff. This is the most honey that we've ever brought in from our hives. Got some over here. Oh, we got some over here. Wait, what are you, what are you doing in our kitchen? <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Good. Great. This is Aaron and Rachel from Four Kids on the Farm. They're gonna help me do some harvesting today. You guys ready to help? Oh yeah. Uh, you want to taste some of this honey? Oh yeah. Okay. You want gloves? Uh, she's gonna do gloves. I'm gonna go handsless. First thing first. Get in on this. Go ahead and squish it up. Get all the juices flowing. Oh my gosh. No, it feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird. I know, so right? what we're doing here, we've got all the honeycomb, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're squeezing it, and then it's gonna drain. It's got a double filter here, and so then it's gonna drain down into the bottom of this jar. It's gonna take forever to drain. Feel like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> All right, so this one we're just trying to get right into the capped part. And so as that comes off, then it will open up the honey and then we can, it'll just drain out. So he's uncapping the honey, so that opens it up and lets the honey flow. Oh nice. Hey, you're eating all the product. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to take off my gloves, but... Why? He says it feels good. I was like, oh no, about that mess. Oh. All right, we're gonna go to the big one here. Over at the squishing area, Aaron. It's going good, isn't it? 
Feels amazing. <laughs> I'm starting to get some up and down my arms though. So this one's two frames that they grew together and so I can't rip it apart yet because it'll just pull it all apart. I think this is gonna be the biggest piece. Now it's mine. I can squeeze it. Yep. And look. So we're gonna have to rip some pieces. I am super excited for our piece. This harvesting is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it's covering the I love the hands on learning and just seeing and stuff. Woo! So that's like all the frames basically weigh that with like a little sheet of comb. Okay? Yeah. So then now feel this with a full <laughs> how heavy that is. It's gotta be like 20 pounds. Seriously? Whoa! <laughs> you gonna try to bite? So come in, honey. It's the best honey I've ever had. <laughs> it really. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Okay. Yes. All right. And here's the best part: is we hold up our our netting. This is just like a paint filter that we get from Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Now we're gonna squeeze out all the honey from it. So you can get a big one. Earn this honey. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. How hard that is to squish. That is amazing. Okay. The big last filter here. See how this goes. We got three fourths of a five gallon bucket here. There you go. All right, we're gonna do some bottling tomorrow. We got a bunch of bottles in, but we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test here. You ready, Eli? Yeah. Go slow. Come on up. Lick it or you want a spoon drink or how do you it. want? You want to drink it? <laughs> no. I don't want to honey. drink the whole thing. I can drink the whole thing. <laughs> I want to drink it. I'm going to drink it. That's a lot of sugar. I was teasing, but it's not sugar. <laughs> no sugar in it. You can try a little bit. It's very sugary. I think you're good. You're good. You're good. What? We'll buy for more. <laughs> hey, that's mine. What are you doing? You're too full, so you've got to bring oh, you down man. to get your uh, your lid in. It's so good. It's so, so yeah. good. It's so good. It's super good. Hey, look, I, I filled this up, and I drank it all the way down. Oh, my gosh. I can't thank you guys enough for all your help today. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you. Just, uh, I mean, you guys are right down the street. You just came right over from, uh, oh, wait, California to Missouri. It's a little bit of a drive. <laughs> just a little bit. But we wish you best on your trip and thanks for hanging out a little bit. Appreciate it. Our pleasure, for yeah. sure. It's really fun. <laughs> he likes it too much. Okay, wait, let me get a drip. Mm. You just want to drink it? <laughs> it's so much, though. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Am I getting the dad of the year or worst dad of the year? <laughs> oh gosh, you spit on me! <laughs> no! We're not doing that. All right, well, guess what? 
it's our anniversary. I know. And because we're about a week after we had Isabella, we're excited to have some easy meals that we can make at home. And so today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So Becky, what kind of meal are we gonna make here today? We're gonna make the citrus pork tacos. We've got a beautiful picture of them here of what they're supposed to look like. We just got everything in the mail, we got things into the freezer, and then we've got this meal out ready to go. And so let's put together these tacos. All right, so we got double the recipe here, so we're gonna open this up <laughs> and get our ingredients out. Okay. Cilantro, onion, oranges, peppers, limes, sour cream. Enjoy variety, simplicity, and ease by making HelloFresh part of your back to school routine. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick meal options like 20 minute dinners or oven ready pizzas. HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably. With their pre-portioned ingredients, it means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. In this pan, we're gonna cook our veggies. That's ready to go in the bowl. All right, now we're gonna turn this bowl around and cook our pork in. We're gonna squeeze in juice from our oranges. Hey, you're eating our orange. HelloFresh's recipes are so delicious. They'll help you break out of that recipe rut. With many low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week, plus every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. All right, we're ready to taste test this. You ready? Delicious. Pork tacos, are they a winner? Go ahead, Isaiah. Give it a shot. You need, yeah. them, you need them again? I like it. Super good. Really appreciate HelloFresh sending this our way. And you can get some of your own. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use the code WHITEHOUSE14 for 14 free meals and free shipping. Just go to HelloFresh.com, use the code WHITEHOUSE14, and you'll get 14 free meals and free shipping. All right, well, it's been a wild couple days with our bees, but we are ready to pour out our honey. How's the baby girl doing? Nobody's got to see her since she's been born. She's doing good. She had her nights and days mixed up for a while, but I think she's getting better. Did you have fun out there with the bees with me? Yeah. Is that a little scary? Yeah. Right? I'm just going to do a glove a little bit. Is your hand all right? Yeah. All right. Well, it was a little wild out there. We're going to talk about that hive here as soon as we're done with this honey. But got this five gallon bucket. It's about three fourths filled. So there's over probably at least three gallons of honey in here. So we've got our little jars that we did before. These are seven ounces of honey. And then we've got a 16 ounce ball quart jar here that we're going to fill as well. So we'll have a good mixture of honey on our website. So let's get this poured out and we'll see how much honey we got. All right, we've got about 30 of these smaller jars all completed. They look amazing. And now we need to work on our quart jars. It's a little over twice the amount of honey going into these. So let's start pouring some honey. All right, so we ended up getting 12 of these larger quart size jars, and we got, I think it's 35 of these smaller seven ounce jars. Last fall, I think we had about 20 jars of these from the hive that we had. So really good start to our harvest this year from the honeybees. Now we'll have these up on our website. You can check them out soon. They'll go pretty quick. So we ask that everyone just limit themselves to one jar per person until we get more in stock. And as far as our hives go, particularly our yellow hive, what do you guys think I should do about that? I'm open to feedback on it. Last year, 
we switched out the queen on the white hive and it really helped that hive. That hive is not nearly as aggressive as it was last year. Just leave the hive alone. Would you take them out completely? I don't think that's worth doing because they provided some excellent honey for us this year even though we had to put up quite a battle. Or would you switch out the queen? I'm open to suggestions. Thank you guys for watching today. We'll see you next time. <laughs>